halogenation. In presence of solvents of low polarity such as carbon disulfide or chloroform, neat reaction in the absence of the solvent. So in the presence of solvents of low polarity such as CS2, so if we are using this bromine in presence of CS2, it is going to give this ortho brominated product which is minor and the para bromo product is the major product. So if we are simply using bromine without any solvent, then we are going to get this 246 tribromophenol. Colby's reaction. In Colby's reaction, sodium hydroxide is used to form this sodium phenoxide. And then upon treatment with this carbon dioxide at certain temperature and pressure of course, along with this use of acid, it forms 2-hydroxybenzoic acid. Its common name is salicylic acid. So at ortho position, we are having this carboxylic group. Let's see the question here. Phenol on treatment with CO2 in presence of sodium hydroxide followed by acidification produces compound X as the major product. X on the treatment with acetic anhydride in presence of catalytic amount of H2SO4 produces which of the following compound. So let's see this reaction here. So when we are having this phenol, which on treatment with sodium hydroxide is going to form the sodium phenoxide. And then upon reaction with carbon dioxide and H+, the sodium phenoxide is giving us salicylic acid. Then the question says that this X, so this X is definitely this salicylic acid. So this is the X which is formed after reaction with of phenol with sodium hydroxide and carbon dioxide in presence of acid, which is basically Colby's reaction. Then it is saying that further this X on treatment with so acetic anhydride. So this is acetic anhydride, which is CH3, C double bond O, O, C double bond O, and CH3. So this is acetic anhydride. So this upon treatment with this acetic anhydride will form acetylated product. So this is the product which we are going to obtain after acetylation using this acetic anhydride on this salicylic acid. So the correct answer will be option C.